<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Southern California seismic data video. Today we have a very significant what was the magnitude here? 5.7 to strike just outside of Salt Lake City. There were 27,000 felt reports on USGS. And if you look on this map here that they provide, it could have been shaking filled up to 7.0. It felt all the way out to for mid Utah, which is is unbelievable. I didn't think this was actually going to happen. People have been talking like I've heard some people say that there was a fault up here that could burst anytime soon, but I didn't think it would happen soon. I'm gonna close the globe and on USGS. Let's see which fault. It's laggy here, my bad. <sighs> yep. Which, oh, I'm actually not sure which one I occurred on. Uh, could be the Great Oh, the Great Salt Lake Fault Zone. Bunch of faults running down through here, or it could be the Wasatch, Wasatch fault zone. So I'm not sure. Uh, let's see how far this goes from our seismometers. But first, like seriously, that's like right in the middle of the city. People would have thought it would have occurred like somewhere up here. Holy cow! Okay was around 563 miles and if you look on our infill tech right here it's back here sorry still we get pretty large readings here's the one in Menifee here's the one in Mammoth and here's in Camarillo California and then my raspberry shake, as you can obviously see here. See here. <sighs> Whoops, sorry. Here's the S wave, which alone is huge. And then just, and then the, almost, sorry, the P wave alone, which is massive. And then the S wave, which is even larger. And goes on for a very long time. And you can see in our spectrogram here. On the bottom, since it's far away. And it gets like a deep red color, just a dark color there, which means it was severe, severe shaking. And it goes on for a while. It's P wave, S wave. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you again in the next video.